So this is for third years, hope you're all getting on okay. I was thinking this would be a good recipe for you because it's fairly straightforward and um, it's really really tasty and um, it's skills that you want to be keeping on top of when we're off school. So it's a self saucing chocolate pudding and it is so nice. So when you bake it, the um, you end up with a sauce on the bottom of it, a chocolate sauce, it's really nice. Um, and I think I might put banana in mine as well to make it chocolate and banana because I've got a couple of bananas being used up. So, first thing, um, I'm doubling the recipe to what we would normally do in school just because in school we do quite a small thing but there's two of us in the house so I'm going to make it double. Um, so what I'm putting on the screen here is double the recipe that we normally do in school. So get a baking dish, I've got quite a well used um, oven dish here. I'm just going to give it a bit of a grease with some butter um, like that. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Put this move in. And we're going to weigh out um, the flour, cocoa and baking powder. So we've got plain flour. If you only have or if you prefer, you can use um, self-raising. Instead, it wouldn't really make much difference whether you use plain or self-raising because I'm going to put baking powder in with the plain. So I'm putting 80 grams of flour in. Now I've put my sieve on top of the plate, then press zero. Um, there we go. Okay, and also in there I'm going to put my cocoa powder. But I don't need to weigh the cocoa powder because it's 30 mils and for mils we use a measuring spoon. So it's the same as a tablespoon. Put two of these in. Uh, sorry, 15 mils is a tablespoon, so two 15 mil spoons. In there. Um, what else do we need? Oh, five mils of baking powder. Like I say, if you don't have baking powder, use self using flour instead. And 5 ml, I have weird measuring spoons here that have like two ends. So 5 ml is a teaspoon, if, you've only, if you don't have measuring spoons, just put a teaspoon in. Like that. Okay, take off the scales. I'm going to sieve that onto a plate. And set that aside for after. Now this is probably a good time to put the oven on. So you're going to put your oven on to 180 for this. So there, get rid of my sieve. So 180 on the oven. If you've got gas ovens at home, you'll have to work out. Google what 180 is. Um, now, in a bowl, we are going to put... Um, sugar, how much? 70 grams of sugar, getting a bit low on sugar in the house actually, I might have to buy more, 70 grams, and that's just the plain caster sugar, we're going to use a, a soft brown sugar for the sauce part of it. And also in there we are putting um, the butter or margarine, 100 grams of that. Okay. Oops, nice um, now we're going to cream this together. You can either use a wooden spoon, I've got a nice silicon one, or you can use a electric whisk. So if you've got an electric whisk at home you can just give it a little whisk until it's nice and pale and fluffy. But if you don't have one you can just do it with a wooden spoon. So I'm pushing Pushing the back of the spoon into the side of the bowl to get the butter squashed into the sugar. And what you're actually doing here is you are trapping tiny bubbles of air which helps give a lighter texture. So to add air to a sponge, which basically we're making a chocolate sponge and then we're going to make a um, sauce to go over the top. Um, creaming like this is adding air. Sieving actually adds a little bit of air because you're um, adding some air through the flour, lightening it up. Um, 
the eggs add air to the mixture as well because they expand when you cook them okay so when you get it all mixed in it's not finished yet hold it against yourself and then beat it back and forth like that to get it nice and fluffy so if you've got a mixer or a whisk do it well. okay next in here wash my hands a little bit, a little bit better. Um, we're going to put a little bit of vanilla. So generally what I do is pour a little bit in the lid like that and then you can just pour it in. If you go like that you'll end up pouring way too much in. So mix that in. Next up is egg, so two eggs, I'm going to crack one at a time, I've got a little bit of shell in there so I'll just give it out. There we go, mix this in. If you're happier you could beat it, um, mix it in a cup first, crack it in a cup. I'm just going to put it straight in here, save the motion up. If you ever see silicon spoons like this in the shop, I would recommend it. It's nice. Um, it just feels a bit nicer than a wooden spoon. It's more flexible. Okay, so get that mixed in. And oh, we're going to put another egg in there too. If you're using an electric whisk, you can just whisk them in as well. I'll wash my hands. This is quite a good recipe to do from stuff you've got in the house because it's not like it's quite a basic recipe, and you don't need you don't even need chocolate for it. So all cocoa powder. if it looks a bit strange like it's all lumpy and curdled but it'll come together when you put some flour in. So next up we're going to put in, I'm going to stir a little bit of the flour and cocoa mixture in just to help bring it together. Get rid of that and um, get rid of the lumps a little bit. Beat it in. do is fold the rest in. Now for folding we're going to use a metal tablespoon. So when it comes to you guys doing your hospitality practical cookery exam next year or this year, no next year, um, when you're doing skills like folding you have to use the correct equipment. So we will be looking when we're giving you marks that you are folding it with a metal tablespoon. So cut through the middle, flip over. Cut through, flip over. For something, a sponge like this with flour and eggs and butter and sugar, it's not that vital that you do this properly. But if you were doing something like a Swiss roll, which is only eggs, sugar, whisked together, and then you fold in flour, you have to make sure that you fold properly, otherwise you're going to knock all the air out of it. But for this, you're not going to knock air out. All you're going to do is try and add a little bit more air in okay um one more thing to get folded in there and that is some milk so i'm going to get some milk in the fridge there we go and it is 30 ml of milk so two 15 ml spoons Okay, so we've got 
it's just basically a chocolate sponge cake. Now we need to make the sauce that'll go over it. Okay, so for the sauce, we are gonna I'm gonna mix it in a jug here. So just put a jug on the scales. I'm gonna put in 80 grams of soft brown sugar. Could be dark or light, it doesn't matter. 80 grams. I don't know how it would work if you didn't have brown sugar, if you just had like castor sugar, it might not be quite as nice a sauce, but you can try it and see. 80 grams. There we go. Um, cocoa powder, another 30 mils, so same as the cake. 250 ml spoons. One. And um, 200 ml of boiling water. So the kettle's just boiled. Two hundred. And I'm just gonna mix this together. There we are. Now it might look a bit weird because this is just hot chocolate liquid, but this is how it needs to be. Okay. So we're gonna get your sponge mixture and put it into the your baking dish. Remember I greased this dish at the start. It just might help it not stick. And even it out a little bit. This is why I love this silicon spoon because it's a bit like a cross between a spatula and um, silicon spatula and that um, wooden spoon. Does both jobs. Get all that mixture out. Okay. And then we're going to pour over, just make sure that's stirred, pour this over. So it looks a bit weird, but trust me, it comes out really nice. And that's going to go into the oven for half an hour. Well, I'm going to, the original recipe is 30 to 35 minutes, but I am, because I've doubled the recipe, I'm not sure I'll let you know how long this takes. So I'm going to check it after half an hour. that. So you can see the chocolate sauce oozing around the sides and it's underneath. What we want to make sure is that the sponge is cooked in the middle so we're going to stick a skewer through. And if it comes out clean and not covered in gooey sponge then it's ready. Looks delicious. Um, so let's take a spoon and see what it's like. Okay Google, stop. Be so nice with vanilla ice cream. Oh, yes. You've got all that sauce underneath, like it's dripping with sauce. Look at that. Oh, yummy. Make it, it's easy. You should, well, maybe have the ingredients. Um, go for it. You've got the skills. <laughs> 